boring, huh? All right. You must be quite busy having to run this whole operation. Oh, you're that ex-lord from Menencia. It was quite unfortunate that all, what all Madria did here. I'm deeply sorry that we couldn't do more to stop our treachery in time. You don't need to apologize, but it sure has gotten lonelier around here ever since that whole mess, that's for sure. I guess. I'm sure with dead I'm gone and all. Oh. Yeah. We used to always get up to trouble when we were younger. Whenever something happened, he'd go charging dead ahead. I'm sure if he was still around, he'd still be running all over the place, always on the move. Hey. You mentioned something about roaring? Yeah, I got a report of some noises coming from East Luva Forest. Is that so? There was an enormous zoogle there previously, but I believe we dispatched it already. Mm. Oh, I didn't know that. This must be something else. From what it says here, it didn't sound like just one zoogle making a ruckus either. If more threats have emerged in that forest, we need to do something. But I'm so busy rebuilding Niez, I don't know when I'll get to it. Good. In that case, let us concern ourselves with that while you focus on your work. Really? Are you sure about that? Quite. But in exchange, you have to promise that once we've finished, you'll regale us with more tales of you and Dead I'm in your youth. <laughs> Is that all? You've got a deal. I'll make sure to get us some drinks and snacks while I'm at it then. I see. Oh ho, I like the sound of that. I'm keen to see how the local liquor here tastes. That is one enormous stray. I don't think we can take it right now. An opponent like this should be easy. Mega Ray! There! Igneous! Let's see the race! It's like We're trying to keep up with a wall! Vacuum blade! Gemini Aqua! I'll be saving this one! Lightning! Eternal Death Devastation! Ball. Switch to Aqua! Thunder Field! Uh. Huh. Prepare to be Healing sealed, circle. O fleet of Thanks. foot. Actually, perhaps pound is more just appropriate. just like that, I'm back in it. We'll start by holding the front line. Here, right. No sooner here said than done. Here I come! Here I come! Back in the wind! Here's a healing arc! First aid! I appreciate the help. Eternal devastation! Look sharp! Supernova! I'll heal you all! Go in! One at a time! So the hard part about this fight seems to be the Their arts were interrupted. I owe you, Sion. Healing is what my arts do best. I don't think if all mine can do is cause havoc and destruction. Let me help. Aid. 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 Gravitas heal. Flaming meteor. All stopped up. Here, let me help. Hail fight. First aid. Rage and death. Need to pull myself together. Look sharp. Look at me. Let's go. Thanks for the healing. Watch yourself. Wow. Yeah. You too. Holy Here's the evil! Raging Cascade! Freeze Lancer! In here! Here, let me help! Let's get you all touched with the shade! Eternal Devastation! Hut! Hut! One at a time! Searing Flame! Raging Cascade! I'm going to Hit the! Where are you, you all? Healing Circle! Up and out! Do it! Let's go! Shion! Astral Energy! Full throttle! Go! It's turtle devastation! Storm! Celestial Hammer! Vacuum Blade! I have one for that. The enemy is going all out! Damn! Appreciate the help. I'm not done! It's turtle devastation! Heal for it! Look sharp! Let me help! Try harder! Let me help! Try harder! Hit another Here I come! Here I come! Here I come! 
with you, Captain. Right. Make any progress on your investigation yet? Good. The issue has already been taken care of. Your people shouldn't hear any more of that loud roaring. Damn, you guys work fast. Thanks. Sadly, I still haven't had time to put those drinks together. Fret not. However, please indulge me in this one question. It's my understanding that Deadime wasn't always so abrasive. Yet, you continued to stand by him. Why was that? Mm. Hmm, that's a good question. There was definitely a part of me that wanted to rein him in as he was getting more and more extreme. But I think maybe part of me also thought that if I stuck around, maybe one day we'd be able to screw around again like we used to. You don't say. And so you remained by his side, hopeful that things would one day be like the good old days, so to speak. It wasn't anything that romantic. I simply couldn't cut my losses and move on. Hmm. No, I understand that. I, for one, am of the mind that one shouldn't sever their ties with others, at least whenever possible. I take it you speak from experience, huh? Not that I'm surprised. This whole world's full of sob stories everywhere you look. Thanks for listening, though I was getting lost in my own misery before you came along, but talking with you helped a bit. Well, thank you for answering me. I know that sometimes these things are easier to discuss with those distant from the matter in question. <laughs> You really are carrying a lot inside you, aren't you? Come by again some other time. I'll make sure to have those drinks so we can really talk. Mm. I would quite like that. I look forward to that day. Right. Actually, before you go, I've got one last request. I want you to meet Deadime's mom sometimes. She lives in town. I'm sure if she saw the blazing sword and his pals, that'd cheer her up. Me, I can't stand to face her after letting Deadime go out like that. Agreed. Very well. When the opportunity presents itself, we shall pay a visit. Looks like he's not coming home today either. Why? Pardon me, ma'am. What seems to be the problem? <laughs> well, a black owl I was looking after has flown off somewhere. Oh, 
An owl? You kept one as a pet? Yes. That's right. She used to be so attached to my son. It's one of the few things he left behind after he passed away in all the turmoil of the city. If I've lost that owl forever, I... I'm so sorry, ma'am. <laughs> oh, it's not for you to apologize for. I'm sorry for laying that on you when we just met. Hmm. Rinwell, surely you and Hoodle could track this owl down, could you not? Maybe. You know, I think Hoodle might just be able to do it. Madam, would you entrust us with finding your son's missing owl? I can't guarantee we'll find it, but there may be hope yet. Well... You think so? Oh, thank you. Before we take off, may I ask if you have anything that your son used to wear? Perhaps it sees something it's found, it's fond of, or has a familiar scent, it'll be more inclined to approach us. Yes! I do. Go ahead and take this with you. My thanks. Much obliged. And with that, we shall commence our search. Hmm. Wait, you're a Renan, aren't you? Are you sure it's alright for you to be helping a Danon like me? Hmm. Madam, do you have reservations about soliciting help from me? <laughs> it is an awkward situation for us both. I understand. In any case, we shall be back. A black eye patch. Uh oh. I think I know whose mom this is. I can't say I'm impressed. You're making promises too freely. And that last exchange... Niaz is beset with grief. As a responsible Renan, it falls to me to extend my hand. I don't think it should be your burden to take on. Oodle says the owl saw a black owl flying out west earlier. I see. If it flew west from here, could it perhaps be staying at the owl forest? Oh yeah, when you put it all together, it definitely might be. Good. Only one way to find out. He's not sure which one it could be, but the Owl King says these three new owls arrived recently. <laughs> well, I'm gonna guess it's gonna be the jet black female, right? Oh, it could be the ashen male. Well, let's try the jet black female. Oh! 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 She seems to be responding to the eye patch. I guess you're right. Good. Yes, without a doubt. I am relieved to see her alive and well. <laughs> Yeah. He says he hates to see her go, but he understands the situation. Apparently our friend here was only visiting anyway, so it's okay to bring her home. He appreciates us looking after his fellow owls, as always, and says he wants to give us a present. <laughs> it looks like we get to take one of these things home with us. I see. I see. Well, bigger isn't always necessarily better with these things. What say you all? Try the little basket. Really? But what's this thing? What? That is a very special medicine, one that's offered as a sign of friendship, otherwise known as an Omega elixir. <laughs> the Owl King hopes we'll put it to good use in our journey, whether it's to heal a dire injury or to sell for some extra money. My thanks. How very thoughtful of him. With it, we can afford to buy new works of art. Hey! Hey, wait a second. <laughs> He also suggests that we bring the basket back to the owl's mom as a souvenir for where she's been. I wonder if they hate having to say goodbye. Well. She says she'll fly home and bring the basket back herself. He wants us to go on ahead and tell the mother we'll be coming home. She'll be coming home. <laughs> that says it all. Let's make our way back. Mm. Yes, let's. Those three seem to get along so well. Was it really right for them to separate? <sighs> it was his choice, and he ultimately chose the lady over his friend. I can only hope this helps her in her recovery. Oh, <laughs> 
Just the people I was looking for. I wanted to tell you something. Look at this. When I woke up one morning, I found not just one owl waiting for me, but three. Hoo-hoo. Hoo-hoo! Huh? Huh? Three of them. So the other two came back with their son's owl as well? <laughs> so it would appear, yes. <laughs> Plus, they also kindly brought this nice big basket with them. No, I, I picked a little basket. There was food for making sandwiches inside. My son must have remembered how I used to make them for him all the time. He was always so busy, it was the only thing he'd ever eat. Apparently, because he could do so... He could do so with just one hand. Oh, oh I'm so happy. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, I'm really glad for you, miss. Hmm. Madam, if you don't mind my asking, what was your son's name? Yes! Deadeye. He used to run some sort of gang, the Darkwings, I think they used to call it. Huh? Deadeye. <laughs> I told him it was too dangerous, but he wouldn't listen. Then one day he vanished without a trace. He wasn't the most thoughtful son, that's for sure. Hmm. I see. I had a sneaking suspicion that was perhaps the case. Well... Oh, you knew him? How funny. I wonder if fate brought us together somehow. My son loved the legends about the old Darkwings. That's why he kept his Black Owl as a pet. <laughs> Ever since he found it, they were inseparable. It was the only real friend that he had. Well, him and Bayfon. Still, those two were the only ones my son used to open up to. The other owls are alive and well, at least. I'm sure they're carrying on his vision. <laughs> you know, these three owls are just like the legend. There was the hero and their two followers, and together they formed the Darkwings. <laughs> so, this little one really is keeping the Darkwings alive. I'm so happy to see that. So then. We'd best be off, madam. We've got our work cut out for us if we don't want this heroic little owl to put us to shame. Wait, I haven't thanked you all for everything you have done. Hmm. If only there was some way I could repay you. Oh. I know, I'll give you this basket. That basket's getting around, man. Hopefully it'll come in handy one way or another. My thanks. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Please, take good care, Madam Giselle. Deadeye was caring for these owls. Maybe he really was a nice guy once. People are not born immutable. They change. And not always for the better. <sighs> this time it was for the better, though. Indeed. Here I come! 
one's mine. Her Here I come. Fight. Flying Zoogle's gone now? Sure. That's right. We didn't leave a single one standing. Right! It's true. I guess when you make her mad, she can really take it out on the Zoogle hordes. Hey! Don't give him any ideas, Alpin. Yeah! Wow, that's awesome. Thank you so much. I'll never forget what you've done for the rest of my days. Okay, calm down. Hmm. When I think about it, those Zoogles are actually pretty cute. I feel a little bad in hindsight. Explosive gunsmith. 